friends i'm in the western zone of tanzania and this is tabora town it is also the headquarters of tabora region which is made up of districts such as urambo kaliua nzega igunga and others according to 2022 national census tabora region has 3.4 million people with the tabora town or called municipality estimated at uh, 143 residents Tanzanians are free to live wherever they want in the United Republic but there are certain tribes that cause certain regions their home in tabora the dominant tribe is wanyamwezi but there are also wasukuma and many other tribes farming is the main activity in this region like many other parts of the country also trading especially in town centers like this there are also civil servants uh, and those working in private sectors but also a large number of people here have self employment such as border border riders street vendors to name just a few of them Tabora is well connected with the convenient infrastructures thus getting here is not an issue you can use road transport which is very easy and affordable you can also use train that is the central railway line uh, which Tabora is the main station but also you can use a flight to come to Tabora there is an airport here so you cannot worry about getting to Tabora This is just a glimpse of Tabora town center. Uh, it has modern roads and a beautiful buildings. Uh, both social and economic services are available. The town is comprised of government and private enterprises offices. There are banks, hospitals, to name just a few of them. But uh, what I noticed here, there are many motorcycles and uh, bicycles which are used as a means of transport. Tabora Hotel is one of iconic buildings in Tabora. It is the earliest star hotels in Tabora. But also Tabora is among regions with a good number of national secondary schools to name a few of them. Kazima, Mirambo, Tabora Boys and Girls and many others. This is Tabora railway station. It is one of the things to do when you visit Tabora. This is when you will drop if you use the central railway line to Tabora. It is the old uh, station built during the German colonial administration. The colonialists built the central railway to transport laborers and uh, resources.
from the interior of Tanganyika to the uh, port, uh, to the port town, that is Dar es Salaam. So uh, this, uh, I mean, this is what we call colonial infrastructure. So they just built this railway um, and the roads just purposely to serve their, their purpose, yeah, to transport migrant laborers or laborers from Kigoma, Tabora to uh, the coast where there were plantations, uh, areas such as Morogoro, uh, Tanga, uh, like that. So the aim was to transport laborers but also to transport resources. Uh, that's why the railway lane is connected to the port so as to transport the uh, raw materials from the central Tanganyika to the coast ready to be transported to Europe. So since then, the central railway line has been the main mode of transport. Tabora friends, a lot of motorbikes here and the bicycles. Yeah, this is the real life here, the real streets of Tabora, Tanzania. We are in the western part of the country, and uh, yeah, it's peace and love here, very calm. Uh, Tanzanians are mostly hospitable people, very calm people. Um, so, let's continue. Okay. So, let's explore the main market here in Tabora. Uh, we call them these kind of markets, we call them Sokoku in Kiswahili. That is the main market. So this is the town's main market. Uh, the main market. Foodstuffs, uh, and everything you need.
Uh, so, friends, this is the Tabora bus station, the main uh, bus station here. You can get long distance buses uh, to Dar es Salaam, uh, Dodoma, Arusha, Mwanza, and many other other regions in Tanzania. So this is the main station in Tabora. Uh, you travel by bus. Uh, coming to Tabora, this is where you are going to alight. This is the main bus station here. Uh, it's at the center of this town. Ali Hassan Mwinyi Stadium in Tabora. This is where the football matches are taking place. Sadly, <laughs> Tabora has no team in Tanzanian Premier League, uh, which is followed by many people nowadays. So, uh, it is rarely used. This stadium is rarely used. But also, it is used when there are some government activities, uh, such as campaign or the president visits Tabora and wants to uh, speak to the residents here so they just gather in the stadium and the madam president deliver uh, her speech so yeah it's also used for political purposes yeah, so this is the matching market here in Tabora uh, this is special for small small vendors small traders we call them matchingers in Tanzania. So this is where they do their business. So you can literally buy everything here uh, from clothes, shoes, um, yeah, it's a nice place to experience if you happen to visit, in, to visit Tabora, you can just make your way here and they buy something to support them so friends hope you have just enjoyed today's video i just wanted to give you a glimpse of what tabora town looks like in 2023 uh, don't forget to like this video uh, share the video and subscribe if you haven't already asanteni na kwaherini tokea hapa mjini tabora